Good evening and welcome to Game 1 of the Bundesliga Championship Series between the Berlin Flamingos and the Butchbinder Legionnaires. Both these teams won their divisions in the regular season, but last time out the Flamingos destroyed the Legionnaires 22-7 in the final game of the Round Robin Series. We're joined now by Flamingo's GM, Ozzy Villain. And Ozzy, you've already announced you'll be leaving at the end of this season, so you must really want this win. And also, what can you tell us about your lineup? Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, I, would, I mean, I'd want to win just as much, even if I was going to be staying here next season. But, uh, you know, the idea of a fairy tale farewell, that would be, uh, that would be quite special, wouldn't it? Uh, as for the lineup, uh, Reese Coleman is back from injury, so he comes in to play shortstop for this one, uh, with Helbar dropping to the bench and Canapin misses out altogether. Otherwise, it's the same lineup that beat this mob last time out. Uh, even Benninghoff will be on the mound again as well. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 26 at the Berlin Flamingos on the Baseball Journeyman and today it's game one of the championship series against the Butch Binder Legionnaires and we absolutely pumped them in the final game of sort of the round robin phase. We, we won all three of our games in round one. Um, the Butch Binder team got in because they had uh, they won their division, so they had the best regular season record of the other teams. And so we find ourselves up against them again. Now, it's going to be more or less the same team as you've just seen there. Um, you can see the numbers. Of, this is how we played against. This is basically from last game, the, 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 the stats versus, from the season versus the, the Legionnaires and vice versa, us versus them and them versus us. Um, but there's not too much to, uh, not too much to say there. It's not much time to waste, is there? Let's go and have a look at these lineups for game one of the championship series. Last game means nothing now. All right, and this is it. Drew Campbell leads us off in left field. It's Leo Burra batting second at second. Ian Post batting third in right field. Cabina continues to bat four. He's, uh, in first base. <sighs> hero, hero, just general hero, Peter Friedendorfer. 15 RBIs he has, more than that, 18 RBIs he has in the postseason so far. Let's hope that continues. He bats five at third base. Byron Mills Jr., the catcher, bats six. The change to the lineup. Reese Kalman is back fit. He comes in to play shortstop in this one. We've struggled to find shortstops that can hit. This guy is very, very high potential indeed. Um, he's a better base runner than our other two. He's not as good defensively. Um, and given how many runs we score, maybe it seems silly to bring in an <laughs> offensive player, but... Let's hope he can get the job done for us. Rice Shirts is designated a hitter. He bats eight. Vockel bats nine in center field. It is Benninghoff taking the mound for us today. And we're up against Christian Pedro. Uh, so a different pitcher that we faced last time out against them. His ERA this season is 3.43. Whip of just over one. War of three. So that is quite good. An ERA plus of 152. So, I mean, again, they're going to be good because they wouldn't be here if they weren't. Let's just hope that we're better. All right, welcome to the championship game. And in a nice little twist of fate, we get to host the game for once, which is nice, isn't it? So Castillo to lead them off. He is batting .091 so far this postseason. It is Hoff on the mound. One and two is the count. And let's see what he can do. Come on, Hoffy boy, come on. That is an infield hit, isn't it? Can he get the play? He pivots, he turns, he can't get there. And it's a leadoff single. For the Legionnaires, Marinette comes in. He's batting 313 in the postseason. Full count. Come on, Hoff. He gets a strikeout. All right, there we go. One away. Ruiz comes up. Now, of course, first innings last game, he hit a home run. First pitch swing this time. That's the ground ball to first base. Easy play for Cabino. The runner does go to second, but it's two away. And if we can get Reddell at the plate, then it's problem solved. He's batting 188 so far this postseason. No one two's the count, and that is a ground ball to Coleman. What's his defensive play like? Doesn't look too bad there. That ends the top of the first. Just the one hit. They're scoreless. And it is Drew Campbell to lead us off, batting 438 this postseason. 3 and 1 is the count. Is he going to draw himself yet another walk? Come on, Campbell. He does. Lead off man aboard. Excellent stuff. Lee Burra comes up now, batting 632 in the postseason. Let's see what he can do. Full count. Burra strikes out. Not ideal. Big swing, big miss. He was clear in offense there, wasn't he? Post comes in now, batting 429 in the postseason. Two and two's the count. Ian Post gets it back up the middle. That's going to get Drew Campbell to third, is it? No, he stops at second. One out, runners at first and second. And in comes Kai Cabina. Only, but well, I would say only. Batting 455 in the postseason. Didn't do too well against this mob last time out. This time he has 
Got that through the infield. And is that going to score Campbell? He's trying for it. It is a first run of the game. A first run of the championship series. Kai Cabina with an RBI single. And Friedendorfer, look at these numbers. Three home runs, 18 RBIs. Batting 438 in the postseason. One out, runners at first and second. What can he do? Friedendorfer, two and two's the count. And he watches strike three. That was a big build-up for nothing, wasn't it? Brings up Byron Mills Jr. Batting 308 in the postseason. 3-0 and is the count on Byron. He loads the bases for us. And it's going to be the youngster. Reese Coleman. A little bit of bias perhaps that he's the Australian in the team. But he comes in. A first at bat this postseason for him. Loaded bases. 1-0 and is the count. Two outs. Coleman pops it up. And that is, unless there's a horrible error out there, going to end the innings. Just the one run. We don't really take advantage of loaded bases there, but we do have the lead, and it's the Hoff to continue to Wittmann, who is batting 500 so far this postseason. Full count. And he gets the strikeout. Oh, that must have been painting corners, that one. Really, really good pitch. Iberle comes up now. He is batting 273 this postseason. One and one's the count. That is hit in to uh, right field there, and that'll be a one-out single for the Legionnaires. And William Volt comes in, batting 167 this postseason. A first pitch swing from him. Come on, Hoff. That's popped up. Posters there. Should be a simple catch. There it is. Two away. Runner goes back to first. And it is Wolf coming up now, who is batting 300 in the postseason. Two and ones. They count. They're looking for the steal. I think we've have we got him. Have we got him? No, we don't. Runner to second. Two and two is that count. Make that a full count. And that is, oh dear, going to tie the game. Post can't get to it. It's an RBI double for the Legionnaires. We are tied at one. And uh, the Hoff is not covering himself in complete glory here, if we're honest. ERA in the postseason now, up over five and a half. Stitzelback comes in now. He's batting 417 in the postseason. Can we end this innings, please? 1 0 is the count. That's the ground ball to Friedendorfer. Does he have a play at first? He does. And that'll end the top of the second. We're tied at 1. We saw, of course, in the final game of, uh, of when we played them at the end of the round, Robin, that uh, we were, it was neck and neck, wasn't it, to about the sixth innings when we just exploded. Rice Shirts pops that up. That's 1 away. It's going to bring in Vockel now, who's batting 500 in the postseason. Two and two's the count on him, and Vockel pops it up as well, and that'll be caught in right field. That's going to be two away, and Drew Campbell will try and keep this innings going for us. He is uh, he walked last time up, didn't he? Two and two's the count this time. Campbell, infield uh, little grubber there. It is the end of the second. We are tied at one. Huff will come back out to face Castillo, who is one for one today. One and one's the count. The leadoff man has popped it up into left field, and Drew Campbell is there, and Drew Campbell should have a simple play. He does, and that is the first out of the top of the third. Marinette comes in. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 and 2 is the count, and Hoff hits him. Oh dear. Runner at first. One away for Ruiz. We've already seen him hit one home run off Benninghoff this postseason. And, well, it's not a home run, but that's going to skip to the fence. Can Vockel prevent the run coming in to score? He does have a good arm. He gets it in quickly to Coleman, and that will just be a double. But with one out, runners at second and third. We're in big danger of falling behind here. Reddle comes in to face Hoff. He is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 1's the count. Come on, Hoff. Where, what happened to you, mate? That is into left field. Is that going to score 2? Coming in, it is going to score two. And we're 3-1 down, and the Hoff is not having a good postseason. The bats got him out of trouble in, uh, in the last time he played these mob, but this time, he's going to do a little bit more himself. That is popped up. That should be a simple catch for Drew Campbell. That's going to be two away. And it's Iberle now, who is one for one today. Still with a man at second. 0-2's the count. That's popped up into uh, right field. Ian Poster's there. He's not the best fielder, but he should be able to catch that. He does. And that'll end the uh, top of the third. But we're 3-1 down. And I suggest we do not want to be going uh, a game down in this three-game series. Bora to lead us off. He's 0-1 today. First pitch swing. Leo Bora gets it into right field. And that will be a leadoff single for our second baseman. That will mean Post comes in now with a little bit of uh, motivation with the runner at first. He's 1-1 one one today. 0-2's the count. Ian Post. 
Ian Post hits all of that. Ian Post doesn't quite clear the fence, but it might score Burra from first. He's coming around. It is going to be a RBI triple for Ian Post as Burra comes in. We cut the lead to one. And with no one out and Post standing at third, that tying run is, is very, very close, isn't it? Cabina, who is one for one today. Oh, and two is the count. He gets hit. And that's going to bring Friedendorfer up with a chance to get himself into over 20 RBIs for the season. One and two is the count. Come on, Friedendorfer. He has hit to a double play, has he? There's one. They do get two. He won't get an RBI for that one, but it does tie the game. So we'll just about take it. We're tied at three. Byron Mills Jr. comes in. He uh, walked, I think, last time up. Full count this time up, and he strikes out. But undo the damage we have done, says uh, Yoda behind the mic here. <laughs> It is 3-3 three, three after 3. Benninghoff to William Voltz, who is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. And that is another strikeout for Hoff. Only his third. And we're into the fourth innings. Unlike him. Wolf comes in now. He's 1 for 1 today. 2 and 2 is the count. Oh, Hoff just needed some time to warm up. He's been taunting them, making them think they have a chance. There's another strikeout. It brings up Stitzel back, who is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. That's the ground ball to Bora, and that's a much, much better fourth innings from Hoff there. Three up, three down, and we go into bat again. And it's Coleman to lead us off. 0 for 1 today. It was, of course, it's his first game of the postseason. Coleman this time has... Well, he hasn't got too much of it, but it's, uh, it's going to be out nonetheless. And that is one away. But he's showing signs he can hit the ball, which is good to see. It's uh, Roy Shirk who is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count on our designated hitter. He watches strike 3 go past. That's 2 away. Vockel who's 0 for 1 comes in. 2 out, no one on. 1 and 0 is the count. And Vockel gets it through the infield into left field. And it's a 2 out single for Vockel. He's quietly having a very, very good postseason. Still batting 500 is Marcel Vockel. It brings in Drew Campbell now with a runner at first and 2 out. Full count. And Drew Campbell draws yet another walk. Unbelievable the amount of walks that man can get. It brings Leo Bora in now with two out, two on. One and two is the count. First pitch swing. Leo Bora gets it up the middle. And that just about might give us a lead. Can Marcel Vockel come around and score? He's trying. He's going to get there. He is. And it is an RBI single for Leo Bora. We take the lead four to three. And it's Ian Post now who is two for two. Two out, two on. One and one's the count. Ian Post gets it up the middle. And that should score Drew Campbell who is very, very quick. He comes around in to score. It's another RBI single. This time Ian Post. It's 5-3 to the Flamingos. And this is looking a little bit better now. A nice little two-out rally. Cabina now with two out, two on. He's one for one today. Two and two's the count on Cabina. And he gets it into the outfield. That's going to skip to the fence. And that might score Ian Post from first. Ian Post rounds Seth third base. He comes in. It's a two RBI double for Kai Cabina. It is seven to three. And it's Friedendorfer now to face a new pitcher. Friedendorfer, who's 0 for 2 today. 3 and 0 is the count. Just get yourself on base, mate. He does. Runners at first and second. Yet again, we have 2 on, 2 out. It's Byron Mills Jr. this time, who's 0 for 1 today. 3 and 1's the count on him. He draws a walk to load the bases. And what is the record for a 2 out rally? I think we batted around when we were 2 out. Reese Coleman comes up now. He's 0 for 2 today with loaded bases. 2 and 0 is the count. Come on, Coleman. Coleman has hit that really, really well. And the 17-year-old Australian is going to score at least two runs on that. Is he going to clear the bases? No, he's not. It's a 2-RBI double, though, for the young Aussie. It is 9 to 3. This two-out rally just continues. And if Reichert gets himself on base, we have batted around with two out. He's 0 for 2. 0-1 oh, is the count. Rice shirts. We have done it. We've batted around with two outs. Unbelievable stuff. It's another two RBI single this time as Rice shirts joins the party. I make that 11-3. And it's Marcel Vockel who started this rally to come up for the second time. 3-1 and one's the count. And we just keep going. The mother of all two out rallies. It is Drew Campbell now. He's 0 for 1 today. He got a walk last time. 2 and 2 is the count. And Drew Campbell keeps it going. This two-out rally has now gone 11 batters. Another run crosses the plate. Another two runs might cross the plate. They do. It's 13 to 3. We have scored 10 runs in the fourth. 
and we've scored them all with two out. It's the third pitcher of the innings, and Leo Burra, who is two for three today. A full count with Drew Campbell at second. Two out. Burra. Finally, the two-out rally comes to an end. Absolutely incredible stuff from our Berlin Flamingos. Ten runs. It's 13-3. And Benninghoff to Castillo, who is one for two today. One and one's the count. That's a ground ball. Burra has it over to first, mate. And there we go. Excellent, excellent stuff. Marinette comes in now. He is 0 for 1 today. Full count. One out, no one on. And there is a man on base now with the one out walk. Brings up Ruiz, who is 1 for 2. Oh, and 1's the count. They're looking for the steal. Can we nail him at second? No, we cannot. And runner moves into scoring position. Full count. Come on, Hoff. Sitting down, mate. It's into right field. Does Post have a catch at it? He does not. He gets it in. Is it going to score a run? It is not going to score a run. So runners at the corners with one out. Reddell comes in, who is one for two. Already has two RBIs today. Two and two's the count, and there's a strikeout for Hoff. Massive, massive, massive strikeout. That's two away. If we can get Bittman, then we get out of this inning. Two and two's the count, and Bittman sits down as well. Hoff paints himself into a little bit of a corner there, but gets himself out of trouble as well. It's still 13 to three, and Post leads us off. He is three for three today. One and two is the count, and Post has grounded that out to shortstop, and that should be one away it is. We just need to get the two out, then we'll start batting, won't we? Cabina, who is two for two today. Oh, and two is the count. He strikes out. There's the two out. All right, let's get this rally going, boys. It's Friedendorfer, who's 0 for two. One and two is the count on Friedendorfer, and this time we can't quite get the rally going. It's three up, three down. And that's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? But there we go. We go into the sixth. It is Benninghoff to continue to Iberle, who is one for two today. One and O's the count. That's a little grubber. It's picked up by Byron Mills Jr. over to first. And that is one away. Benninghoff to Waltz now, who's 0 for 2. 2 and 2's the count. And it's another strikeout for Benninghoff. Even when he's not great, he's still good, isn't he? It's Wolf coming in now, who is 1 for 2. 2 and 1 is the count. 2 out, no one on. That is into right field. Posters there. Makes a decent catch. It was a well hit, but pretty much straight to him. That ends the top of the sixth. Byron Mills Jr. to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 and 2 is the count. Byron Mills Jr. strikes out, and that is 1 away. Coleman now, who is 1 for 3, hit that wonderful 2-RBI uh, double last time up. This time he strikes out, and that is 2 away. And Reichert now, who is 1 for 3. First pitch swing. Reichert gets that into right field, and that is a 2-out single for our designated hitter. Marcel Vockel now, who's one for two. First pitch swing. And that gets away from the catcher, and Reichert will go over to uh, second. Yeah, that's correct. That's uh, the second base, isn't it? <laughs> and Vockel now. Come on. Two and two. Vockel strikes out, and that ends the sixth. Still we lead 13 to three, thanks to that mammoth fourth innings where we scored ten, all with two out. I think it was all with two out. It was a massive two out rally anyway. Benninghoff to uh, Stitzelback, who's 0 for 2. 0 and 2 is also the count on the leadoff man. And that is hit into center field. Vockel's there and Vockel makes a very, very good catch. One away. Costillo, or Castillo even comes in. He's 1 for 3 today. 2 and 2 is the count. And that's another strikeout for Hoff. That is 2 away. And Marinette comes in. He is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. And that is going to drop in, I think. It is. And it's a 2-out single. Vindermeyer comes in as uh, we say farewell to Benninghoff for possibly ever. Because if Gomez wins game, two, yeah, wins game 2, that'll be it. So it could be the last we've seen of the Hoff. And what a player he has been for us. Vindermeyer, though, at 0 and 2. He ends the innings in style. And we stretch with a 10-run lead, 13-3 here at Flamingo Park. And it's Drew Campbell to lead us off. He's 1 for 2 today with probably about 6 or 7 walks. 2 and 2's the count. Drew Campbell gets it up the middle. And that is going to be a lead-off single for our left fielder. Wonderful stuff. Leo Bura, who's 2 for 4 today. 1 and 0's the count. Is Campbell going to try and steal? No, Bura rips it down the third baseline. Look at the pace on that thing. It's going to get Campbell to third, is it? It's uh, one of these that doesn't quite match up. It's going to get uh, it's going to get Burra out at third. It's going to get uh, a run home. So it's an RBI double for Leo Burra if you're keeping score at home. And Ian Post with no one on. What can he do at one and two? 
Post strikes out. That's two away. And it's Kai Kabina who is two for three today. Two out, no one on. Two and two is the count. Kai Kabina hits it well. Is it going to get over right field? No, it's not. And that'll end the seventh. 14 to three, though. It's still very comfortable for us. Reddle comes in to face Vindemeyer. He's one, four, three today. Does have two RBIs. It's a full count on the leadoff man. And there's a strikeout for Vindemeyer. And that is his second of the game. And it is Wittmann coming in now, who is 0 for 3. Another full count. One out, no one on. And that is a ground ball. Easy for Cabina. And that is two away. Aburle comes in now. He's 1 for 3 today. 2 and 0 is the count. Two out, no one on. And that is popped very high up. Burr is there. He isn't going to make the catch. And that'll end the top of the eighth. We are three outs away from taking a 1-0 lead in the championship series. Eric Good comes in to face Friedendorfer, who's 0 for 3 today. What's happened to Friedendorfer today? 1 and 2 is the count. And Friedendorfer strikes out and goes 0 for 4 the game after he hit 10 RBIs. Unbelievable. Funny game baseball, isn't it? Byron Mills Jr. comes in now. He is 3 and 0 the count. He's going to get himself at first. And Reese Coleman, who is one for four, comes in. First pitch swing from him. Coleman rips it into left field. Is it going to get into the... No, not quite to the fence. It's going to be a double, though, as Byron Mills Jr. goes into third. He's going to try and score, is he? It's an RBI double. Byron Mills Jr. comes all the way around from first. Another RBI for Coleman. 15 to three is now the score. And Rice Shirts with Coleman at second comes in, batting two for four today. And Rice Shirts, has he got that out of the stadium? He has! A home run for the designated hitter, David Rice Shirts. 437 feet over centre field. It's 17 to 3. We're tacking on some insurance runs. I don't think we need that much insurance. And Marcel Vockel now comes in. No one on, one out to face Eric Good. He's 1 for 3 today. 0 and 2 is the count, and Vockel strikes out for 2 away. And Drew Campbell, who is two for three, gets one more chance. It's another full count. Can he get himself another walk? He can. It is incredible how many walks Drew Campbell gets. Leo Burra, who is three for five today. First pitch swing from Leo. He gets it into right field. That should be caught. And that, oh no, it's going to drop in. It drops in front of the right fielder. So it's, a, it's another single for Leo Burra. It brings up Ian Post, who is three for five. Two out, two on. Two and one's the count, and Ian Post, that should do it. Pitcher goes across to cover first, and that ends the eighth. We add on three, it's 17 to three, and it's Vindemeyer to try and close out game one here to face William Volt, who is 0 for three today. Two and two is the count. That is popped up, and Reese Coleman, our young shortstop, makes the play for one away. Wolf comes in now, he's one for three. Oh, and one is the count. Come on, Vindemeyer. That is, can Coleman have a play at that? He's, no, it's not quite there for him. It's an infield single. And that is, uh, yeah, a one-out single. It's, uh, uh, what's his face? Stitzelback. That is lined out to Bora. That is two away. They're down to their final out. Castillo at the plate. He's one for four. Vindemeyer, it's three and oh. It's probably going to be a walk, isn't it? He does walk a two-out walk. Runners at first and second now. It's Vindermeyer to Henry Muller, who is pinch hitting. He's one for one so far this postseason. Can Vindermeyer bring an end to that? Two and two's the count. Are we about to win game one? Yes, we are. Go on, boys. Berlin Flamingos take a one-game lead. So there we go. We are one nil up in the championship series. That means we come back next episode with a chance to win it all. At Butch Binder. I don't even know where Butch Binder is, but we'll look it up on a map and we'll go there and hopefully we'll win a series. If you have enjoyed that, guys, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And like I say, we will be back next time to hopefully go and win this Bundesliga Championship. Take care.